Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Dragonzilla here with my very first figure review. Now, I have seen many YouTubers make reviews like this, and they've been pretty cool, and I'd like to give it a try myself. And so, for my first review, I'll be looking at a figure that I got just yesterday, and that is the Papo Albino slash White Crocodile figure. Now, this is, without doubt, a very, very nice figure. And out of all the Papal Wild Animal range, this figure is the best out of them all. Because it's not too often you see figures of albino animals. The head sculpt is amazing. Just like the real life creature. And so is the body. The body is pretty awesome to look at. The paint job is very well done, gives the figure a natural look. I'm not sure if this figure is the now crocodile sculpt, but it's just been repainted, or this is a completely new sculpt. But if you own both figures, then let me know in the comments below. Another thing about the pose, in my eyes, it shows the crocodile defending himself from like a predator or whatever threat he's facing. Unfortunately, there's one thing about this figure that I do not like, and that is the jaw. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it looks great. The issue here is that it's not articulated, so it cannot open and close like we can see on the Papo Dimetrodon. But it's just a minor complaint. And even if the jaw did have articulation, I think I would have had the mouth open anyway. And now we come on to everyone's favourite part of a figure review, size comparison. Now, as you can see, the albino crocodile appears to be a lot longer than the Dimetrodon. So here are the two figures at the front, standing side by side, except for the sail. The figures appear to be the same size as each other. And in figure form, it looks okay, but I suspect Dimetrodon might be a little bit bigger than the Albino Croc. And now let's compare him with a possible prey item, the Safari Limited Amberlydon. And again, size in here looks pretty good. I mean, I'm still learning on Amberlydon. I mean, you can imagine the Amberly Don wallowing in the swamps, minding his own business, completely unaware that this guy is lurking in the water, watching him. Then he would go under the water, and then all of a sudden, BAM! That Amberly Don had only two days left until retirement. And now one more figure, the Schleich Verizonosaurus, the small version. Now, Verizonosaurus was one of the tallest dinosaurs that ever lived, and because this is one of Schleich's smaller figures, sizing is pretty off. Unless you say this one is a juvenile that fell victim to the albino crocodile. Or, if you like, albino dinosuchus. Wink. So overall, what are my final thoughts on this figure? I think it's great. It's certainly one of the best Papo models in my collection. I highly recommend this to anyone who's a huge fan of crocodiles like I am, because they are my favourite reptiles and my favourite animals in general. The detail is good, the paint job is good, highly recommendable figure. I give it a 4 out of 5. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll, I shall see you next time. One last thing before I close, is that I have seen an albino alligator myself, when I went to Gran Canaria back in 2009. I filmed it when I was there, and I have put all the clips together into one video, so the link will be in the description below. Alright guys, I'm signing out for real this time. See ya!